Well, next, a fixture within Madison's fire department for the last 16 years says farewell. Chief Deborah Amesqua announced her retirement back in June, and that day is finally here. News 3's Mark Lovacott has more on her tenure here in Madison. Yeah, Eric and Sarah, while the chief isn't officially done with her role until January 3rd here in Madison, with vacation time and the holidays, she actually is already done with work. She says she has been planning for this moment for the last 28 years. Hug after hug, Chief Deborah Amesqua is reminded of the special people she's grown to love in Madison. It's just an amazing feeling. For 16 years, Chief Amesqua has led the Madison Fire Department through the good and the bad. She says what she'll remember and miss the most, though, are all of these people. And I've hired over three quarters of the department. And so um, that legacy will, will sustain itself for decades to come. And I'm so proud of that. When Amesqua came on board in 1996, she knew she was walking into controversy. The first female fire chief in the state, the seventh in the nation, and some felt they were passed up for her job. She says the department has come a long way in those 16 years. I set out to, to create a caring and compassionate organization, and I looked at it that those two items in every person that I hired. I remember my interview um, perfectly clear 10 years ago. So. Amesqua hired people office, like so Becky Blaschka, an 11 year so. veteran with Madison <laughs> Fire. She says the chief helped break down barriers in a male dominated workplace. And Amesqua's role changed firefighting here and across the nation. And the amount of people she's hired in the 10 years that I've been on and even before that, um, in my class out of 16 people, we had five women. The longevity of women and the next uh, phase of women in the fire service is yet to come and we're going to see great things. Amesqua says she loves to build, get this, arch top mandolins, very ornate string instruments. So she says she will be doing plenty of that during her retirement. She also, she has already moved to her hometown. That is Tallahassee, Florida. That's where she will stay. And that's where her family is. She's looking forward to spending time with them as well. Florida, huh? she might like that warm weather. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> Mark, thanks a lot. Good sure. for her.